Cardano could drop another 30%. Hey guys, what's going on? Jeb here, and in today's video, we are going to be talking about how one of your favorite altcoins, Cardano, could be dropping all the way down to a bottom of 35 cents. But we're not just going to be talking about how that could happen. We're going to be talking about why that would be a very good thing for the project and a good thing for you, the investor, because getting the cryptocurrency under 40 cents will likely bring a 1,000% return in just the next couple of years. If you want to make that kind of money and learn how you found the right video, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. But without much further ado, let's go ahead and dive right on into it. As you will already know, Cardano hit an all-time high of $3.13 in early September of 2021. Ever since then, Cardano has been on a massive downtrend, down 85% in the last nine months. As Bitcoin is dropping, it's currently sitting at $29,000, and if Bitcoin were to drop down to its price target of 20 k that would be a 30% drop to the downside. Now, if we were to see the exact same thing happen on Cardano, another 30% drop, then we would likely see Cardano come down to $0.35. Cents. But it's not just because Bitcoin could drop to $20,000 that Cardano might drop to $0.35. Cents. A little known fact about Cardano is that it didn't actually hit a dollar for the first time in early 2021. It actually did during the last days of 2017 during the ICO bubble in January of 2018 and December of 2017. Ever since then, Cardano went through a massive retracement dropping 98.5% over almost exactly 800 days. From there, Cardano rallied from literally $0.02 cents all the way to $3.13 since in a year and a half, it rallied 16,000%. The drop that we are seeing right now on Cardano is nothing compared to what we saw in 2018, 2019, and early 2020 as a result of the bear market, then the pandemic drop. But notice it was Cardano's fundamentals that drove it skyrocketing right back up to the moon. So I do have a whole lot of confidence that we're going to see another rally like this. But that's not to say that we're out of the woods just yet. If we zoom in here on Cardano, we will see that our VPVR actually gives us some support based on price action data that happened in quarter one of 2018. You can see that there is a small local VPVR maximum sitting at, you guessed it, 35 cents. Take a look at this high right here. If we zoom in and we take a look at 35 cents and compare it to where we are right now, we can see that if Cardano was to drop down to that 35 cent level, that would be almost exactly a 30% drop. We'd drop 30% to drop down to 35 cents and you would see Cardano dropping the same amount as Bitcoin. On top of that, we already saw a wick back here when the drop actually happened on the day we called the bear market, May 12th that Cardano dropped down to 38 cents. So 35 cents actually makes a lot of, well, cents. But if we did drop all that way to the downside on Cardano, it would be good for a couple of reasons. Number one, we would see Cardano drop even lower on all-time RSI. It's already at all-time low, sitting at 31, uh, 31 on RSI, indicating we have an amazing buying opportunity for Cardano right now. But it would drop even lower, probably down to 27, 28, 29, indicating, one, the bears are very much in charge, but two, that a bottom could be close. One thing also to keep in mind is that June 29th is the expected date of the Basel hard fork. So if we did see another drop down to 35 cents, that means that we would be at an extreme low during an extremely bullish fundamental development such as Vasil's hard fork, which should be going live on June 29th, so says the founder, Charles Hoskinson. So what's the TLDR of this video? What is the whole point? The whole point is we could be about to see a major drop on Cardano down to under 40 cents and then one of the biggest fundamental bullish developments that it has seen in a couple of years take place right after that, meaning that a wonderful, amazing, huge buying opportunity and trading opportunity is opening up on Cardano. So if you want to make some money on Cardano, either short term or long term, buying below 40 cents might not be a bad idea. Maybe consider setting up an investment down there, buying and holding for the long term, or maybe consider trying to enter a trade. Betting on Vasil will cause a rally in Cardano and then make a small profit. And hey, if Vasil doesn't cause a big rally, then you still got Cardano at 40 cents. You can just roll over that bad trade into an investment, hold on to it for a multitude of years, because I'm going to be honest with you. I think within the next three to five years, you're going to see a $10 Cardano. And if you see that rally happen from where we are right now, that's a 2,000% movement to the upside. I've called for a $30 Cardano before the end of the decade, if we did see that occur, we would see a 7,600% rally from our current local bottom at 38 cents. So consider getting some Cardano on the cheap. It has the strongest fundamentals in the entire altcoin space, in my opinion, even ahead of Ethereum on everything but adoption. And that can be overtaken quite easily if the tech and the value proposition to the end user is better, which I think it is. Anyway, guys, if you got use case or application out of this video, then make sure to hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, 
consider picking up a little bit of Cardano, but try not to get overexposed because we do want to be conservative in our investments right now, especially considering we're in a bear market and Cardano has a history of going to two cents. Could happen again, probably won't, but don't invest more than you're willing to lose is the point. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, follow us on all of our social media at CryptoJeb over on Instagram and Twitter at CryptoJeb Official on TikTok. And before I go, I do just first want to thank each and every single last one of you for watching as always, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace. Whoa there, partner. You watched the whole video. Good on you. Now what you can do to make me even happier is go ahead and hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, bing that notification bell, and let me know what you think in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.